All right, today's video is about the state of the UK hill climb because wow, 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 I can't believe some of the numbers that are getting whacked out these days, left, right and centre. It's actually ridiculous. Uh, so men's and women's, it's obscene. Uh, we'll do women's first, then we'll go men's because to be honest, like both of them are absolutely obscene. That's my straw, but that's the wrong one. Right, so this was Illy Gardner yesterday and like honestly, mental. Uh, like 5.8 watts per kilo for 6 minutes 40 is like bonkers. Like got the course record by like a big margin. And, like, on the day itself, like, got a very strong result. Like, if you look at um, times this year, like, um, Illy Gardner was, like, very much up there. Um, and the same with a lot of other hill climbs, uh, which is pretty impressive, to be honest. Uh, but today was also a super, super strong time. And I actually think a better time uh, than yesterday. Uh, so these are both actually in the men's to be fair. And you can see some of the numbers. We're going to go through the men's in a minute, but it's pretty bonkers. Because Illy Gardner, like, super strong performance. Uh, we'll go to Chew Valley because I think this was actually her better performance uh, again, uh, which I think I actually have up somewhere. Mm, sorry, this is always carnage, me trying to figure out when I have a million different uh, Strava tabs open. But alas, I probably should be more prepared, but that is what it is. Oh yeah, the good news for you all you lot is I am full time on YouTube again for the next year because I did not get my bike radar job. Uh, but yes, yeah, six and a half watts per kilo for five minutes, 27 pretty mental, not gonna lie, uh, it's sort of like, I think, binned a lot of people today, and that is so, so strong, like, and the thing is, it's not like, oh, the power meter reads, like, no, no, that actually just does add up, um, so if we look at, we look at this year, they got was ninth, uh, you know, not many people really being her, so pretty, pretty impressive to performance, to be honest, and, uh, yeah, I think my best time's like 516, and I did about six and a half, obviously, quite a lot heavier, so that, compared to Illy Gardner, so it does make sense. So I don't think a Pami overreads or anything, just super, super strong performance from her. And again, probably, I mean, I thought she was going to win last year, but didn't. But I think this year, for sure, um, you, you'd you expect it um, because uh, it's a longer climb. Um, that's the key thing to remember. It's steep, yeah, like last year, but it's also a long climb. Uh, so yeah, really strong performance. Beecher Jones also looking really, really good, to be fair. One, a hill, I think she basically wins every hill climb she enters. If, uh, and yeah, so really strong performances. Uh, but these, the reason I'm going over these people is because they're all doing climbs that I've done. And like, honestly, ridiculous. So we're going to go on to yesterday's, yesterday's hill climb where Andrew, Andrew Further beat Ed Laverick by 30 seconds. It's just obscene. Like, we're going to go on these three. Because honestly, like, it's a joke. Uh, I just can't believe it. The sort of numbers he's whacking out. And um, so this was Ed Laverick saying or whatever he says he chats so much shit that man anyway um 7.7 7 watts per kilo i don't think he's 58 because it doesn't add up uh compared to some other people who've done the segment charlie beak who is like top 10 in, or like top three in copper spaniel races 7.4 watts per kilo for five minutes 20 and you think uh they basically the same watts per kilo so i'm pretty sure um ed laverick be at 7.4 probably not 7.7 .7, or pamia over reads uh, which is a disaster these days because all Shimano Pamias are basically inaccurate. But anyway, I don't know what Pamias everyone has. But anyway, pretty impressive. But then the thing is, it's just not because you just look at Andrew Feather and he's just destroying people, like, but on a different level of like, I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. So we're going to go on to Andrew Feather's ride now uh, because it's literally just like so much better. Like, it's not really comparable. Like, 30 seconds, 4 minutes 46. Like, 8.4 watts per kilo. Okay, maybe it's not. Maybe it's 8 watts per kilo, which would sound more right, because 8.4 is crazy. But, like, the VAM, 2,100 VAM, for, like, 2 kilometres is to joke. And, like, it is steep, like, 9%. But I think the most ridiculous thing is this last pit here. Last minute and a half, you were at 9.2 watts per kilo. So, maybe, like, 8.5, 8.8. But, like, look at the speed. Like, 22k out, 12%. Like, most people can barely do that for, like, 2 minutes. Let alone, like, at the end of a four or five minute climb. So, anyway, he is looking r mightily strong. Um, and, yeah, so, you know, definitely going to be a big a big favourite for Nationals. But, you know, that's that's not saying anything interesting. Um, I do like the, the lack of title, but description. Odd one, but, you know, each their own on the Stravs. So, anyway, this is four minutes 37 uh, for the, uh, the climb on the other side of the Mendips. These are both on the Mendips, so that... One climb was here, one climb was there. 10 out of 10 would recommend riding in the Mendips, top place, local area, and all that stuff. Both of them quite rampy climbs. And again, you can see some super, super strong numbers. So a minute 508. And the thing with Feathery is really saves his stuff for the last. You can see like 
probably not wise. Probably shouldn't have done it there. Probably should have done this part where it's steeper. But nonetheless, you know, it's it's some big numbers. It's like it's very quick. Uh, you know, almost two thousand van, but like eighteen hundred van, but on a seven percent climb is pretty impressive. And we sort of look at the timings that he's binning people by. Like Ed Laverick was there today and got done by ten seconds. Ben Miller by ten seconds. Okay, obviously it's a quicker climb, hence why the time gaps won't be as large because it's harder because you are going faster and obviously air resistance is not linear. It is cubic to power. But Ben Miller is also super strong. I don't know if he's doing hill climbing national challenge, but he is. He is a hitter. Um. So yeah. Really strong performance from Andrew Feather, looking good, like always. And then the person we've got to check out is actually Tom Bell. So Tom Bell was doing uh, man, no, what, what, the actual Nationals climb. And he did 7.2 for six minutes. Now, Tom Bell, I think maybe he's lighter or like, you know, his numbers don't need to read as high as Feathers to go the same speed. However, very impressive 7.2. I think it could be more like 7.4. You can see if we actually look at the segment... Uh, I think he's basically only wants to do a full gas effort, but like he is battering people by a long way. So pretty impressive uh, performance from him. But then in Mam Nick, he said the pacing was not top. And Tom Bell, you know, he's like a robot. I've said this before. He just he just saw it on the pacing. But you can see here, he actually is a positive split. And I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever seen this in, in modern history. So it really is a bit of hill climbing. Uh, I don't know, history being made here. But anyway, still, nonetheless, seven watts per kilo for six minutes, very strong. And you can see here before the little crack on the, uh, wow, this is a little crack. Uh, you can see 7.6 for three and a half, which is which is a lot for him. Again, almost 2,000 VAM on 9% is, is very impressive. So uh, Andrew Feather did actually win that, to be fair, uh, which you knew. Does it show anything? Maybe, maybe not. You know, I wrote off Ed Laverick in 2019, or, and uh, he did win, to be fair. Uh, you know, there was justified uh, reasons for that. Um, but nonetheless, uh, actually, that's just the completely wrong one I want to find. Uh, this year, uh, I don't know why Feathers hasn't uploaded, but anyway, he lost a feather. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, interesting data. Uh, goes to show UK hill climbs is obscene. Uh, it's really hard to actually do well on them unless you can whack out like well over 7 watts per kilo for this climb, uh, which is just bonkers. But, you know, it is what it is. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Uh, I should have some more hill climb content. I might go to nationals. Haven't really decided because it will be cost money, but is a good atmosphere. So, yeah, let me know if you want me to go to nationals, film some stuff, you know, interview some riders because I am not riding this year. So anyway, hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one.